What's going on guys? It's Thursday and I'm back to you on another Forza Horizon 5 trial event. This week we're kicking off Series 24 Italian Automotive. We had a massive update in this game, adding all sorts of uh, Italian cars and adding more garage slots and that sort of thing. I know on Xbox it was a 130 gig update for me, which is pretty substantial. Um, anyway, the first trial event of this series is called Macer Party. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I am. It is a road racing event for the 2010 Maserati Gran Turismo S Tune A spec. The tune I made and used for it, I will show it on screen right now. It is called A800 Road V3. I'll also show the share code. Originally I was going to use an older tune I made back in October called uh, A800 Road Racing V2. Or it might just be called Road Racing V2. But I decided to make a couple changes. I took off the front arrow and made the front tires a little bit thicker. Make a little bit more grip up front, I think it worked pretty well. Uh, this is something I don't usually do for cars, I don't usually have uh, no aero upgrades at all. But I decided to go that route, and I've uh, lately, let's say the last like year or so, I've been trying to shy away from doing like max uh, weight reduction and trying to do more power oriented upgrading, but I kind of left it the way it was. I have max, uh, I have max weight reduction as well as no aero. Semi-slick racing tires, which is something I also don't use. I usually use custom, sl uh, the full slick racing tires, but I decided to keep the semi-slicks on. The only uh, engine upgrade, I believe, I, I did a little something with the, the air the air filter, I believe, and I upgraded the valves to the first step in the upgrade process. So uh, I'm doing stuff I don't usually normally do, but it, it worked out for me, I, at least in the, in the event. Uh, it's kind of a rough sample, kind of a small sample, I should say, because only two people on my team had tune cars uh, the rest of them were stock but i i did pretty well i'd say i won both races second race was kind of tricky starting in the back maneuvering your way up through all this stuff trying not to just completely obliterate people uh, and that one ai was really fast but i was able to get by him ultimately and win both races uh, my teammates who had tuned cars didn't really have anything for me so I, I think i'm on the right path here it seemed to work for me hopefully it'll work for you as well if you give it a go uh, completely foreign tune to me like i said not usually what i what I try to do, but I'm trying to kind of branch out and uh, see if I can make cars a little bit, uh, make tunes in a little bit different path than I would normally take. And uh, so far, I think this worked pretty well. Um, leave a like on this video if it help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this, and comment down below what kind of uh, tuning method you try to go for with your Gran Turismo, whether it was more handling power. Let me know about all that down in the comments. Also, let me know how your teammates were, if they used stock cars or not, if they actually had tuned cars. Let me know about that as well and i'll see you guys next week for another italian automotive trial event